It doesn't have it too loud. It doesn't have it too loud. It's recording. The voice. I mean, What's up, everyone? Can you see me? Am I good? All right, my name's Mike. My little brother Tom behind the camera, and there's Grandma in the back. Hey, everyone. I'm just bringing you this. I'm maybe share a little bit of my family uh, 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 knowledge with cooking. Growing up, raised by, uh, I had, I was fortunate enough to have four inspirational chefs in my life teach me how to cook. My two grandmas and my mom and dad. They were the best in the world. Um, I'm Newport Richie, Florida, born and raised, more or less. <laughs> and um, I've uh, worked in a lot of restaurants here. I have a lot of catering. I've been cooking as long as I could reach the kitchen counter. And uh, I love it. It's a passion. And like I said, the four inspirational chefs, my two grandmas, my mom and dad. And hopefully through these videos that we do, I'll, I'll try to bring you around to my family's homes and let them show you what each one does and what each, how each one's inspired me and taught me and shown me. So today we're going to make some sausage and peppers. He knows what he's doing. Leave him alone. He's at okay. the house. Okay. <laughs> so today we're going to make some sausage and peppers because my aunt's had some sausage that... Uh, that um, uh, in, in the house, and it's simple, it's easy, it's fast, uh, something to show you to start with, and through the days we'll do more. So let's start out. I have my sausage here, I have some tomato, green pepper, and onion. Now to me this dish is inspirational because it's my father. Add the tomato, and he's not with us anymore, but add the tomato um, to this roasted gar uh, peppers and onion, sausage, pepper, and onion is his signature right there. Um, okay, so we're going to start out with the basic ingredients. We've got our tomato here. And what we're going to do, of course, is we're going to core it. Make sure you can see my hands there, brother. This is new to us. We're just starting. This, this is our first time. We're experimenting. We're going to put this on YouTube and maybe see if anybody likes it. And like I said, in the future, maybe you can follow us around. Now, we're cutting this tomato in wedges. We're going to, we want it to, to, not cook down so fast because the way we're going to do this dish is in the oven. We're going to roast it all in the oven. So, you know, actually, before I started here, I should have um, preheated my oven. I'm going to do it to about 350 on bake. 350 bake. Okay. Now, back to here. Our peppers. Slice them long ways. Clean them out. And now, when you do this, when we slice them, we're going to slice them a little bit hardy, again, because this is in the oven dish, it's a little bit slower process than on the stove, but it's just, it's delicious, it's easy. So what we're going to do is we're going to make some slices the long way of the pepper, and then we're just going to take it and cut it in half, so we got some nice chunks that won't cook down too, too fast while the sausage is finishing cooking. So, we'll cut that up real quick. Yeah, I was raised in a large family. There's ten siblings, just of my brothers and sisters. And, uh, I actually, what am I saying, ten? <laughs> I could go on a couple more. My sister's in Puerto Rico and everything. Okay, the onion here. We're just going to take off the both ends. Cut it in half. Take off the skin. Simple, and then again with the onions, we're going to wedge them up like we did with the green peppers. And we want these a little bit hardy again so they don't cook down too much before the sausage is done. So, and, and for some reason, the wedges is the shape. <laughs> and that's another thing from my father, you know, that I've learned. And let's see here. Okay, we got that ready to go. Now what I did with the sausage, what we're going to do with the sausage, we have our links here. Just so we don't want them to go in the pan and when we put them in the oven, they're going to explode on us. We're going to poke a couple holes in them. Right here. Okay, and that's good because I already did the other ones ahead of time. Then we're just going to lay out the sausage. Just in the pan. And I mean as many as you can fit in there. I have about eight links here. I have a pepper and a half, an onion and a half, and two tomatoes. So I'm going to lay that out. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to simply take everything 
and mix it all around right here. Break up the onion a little bit. All right, and then what I'm going to do is just put everything right on top of those those sausages. Because the way we're going to do it is we're going to season up the peppers and onions and everything and let all that flavor cook down into the sausage. And, and then at the end we'll mix it around and roast it a little bit. And, but already you can see. It's a nice, easy, hearty dish. Okay, the next step is what I have here is what I call my family's basic ingredients for everything. Salt, black pepper, garlic, oregano, and oil. And olive oil for a dish like this, of course, I've got some, uh, some fresh garlic and some garlic powder, and I'm going to use both only because this, the flavor with the roasted peppers and onions, the, the powder is the way to go, but you got to always have fresh. <laughs> okay. So what we're going to do then is we're going to put some oil and we're going to oil, we're going to drizzle oil all along the top. Now we want to do this before we put the seasoning on because that way the seasoning doesn't wash off of the, of the stuff while we're, of the food while we're, you know, uh, seasoning it. Otherwise, you pour the oil on and it's all gone. Okay, now I don't use measuring spoons, I don't use weights or anything. I, I mainly just cook by eye. I have a passion for food. I'm sure everybody's got a passion in them somewhere. But I use by eye and then by the amount of food there is in all that. And no matter what everybody says, uh, you um, salt is a main ingredient of everything. and It brings out the flavor. It's an enhancer. So I'll just pour a little bit in my hand here because you don't want to directly pour over. You know, you pour too much. You could always dump it out of your hand. And I'm just going to sprinkle some salt to, to taste, you know. And every, like I said, everybody's taste is a little bit different. So go ahead and use what you feel that you need. But please use some. <laughs> I'm bad. <laughs> Not that bad. And again, with the garlic, we're just going to take it and sprinkle it over. And to your taste again. I mean, there's no exact measurement. There's no how much. It's how much you think you'd like. I'm sure you know how much, you know, I'm sure you know the flavors of the spices you have or use. Oregano, same thing, just and no, no, nothing wrong, a little too much, a little too less, it's going to be delicious. So. But I always find a little more is better. Okay, we'll get my little brother to give you an overview shot when I get done here, and that way, you know, the black pepper here. And I'm going to put that fresh garlic right on top, so that way when we're cooking this in the oven, it is going to brown a little bit and, and uh, cook, you know, we want it to brown some, we want it to cook nice, roast, roast, that's exactly the word I'm looking for. Okay, and then that, and then we have everything on there. And what we're going to do now is put it in the oven for about 15, 20 minutes. Um, no, I'm sorry. 20, 25 minutes. We're going to put it in the oven on 350 and roast it. Okay. We're going to take a little break. And when we come back, we'll show you the finished product here and how we eat it. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Now, what we're going to do is we see now the peppers and onions and the tomato are nice starting to roast mix it around a little bit and we're going to try to bring some of these sausages to the top or expose them a little bit the vegetables are cooking beautiful and now we're going to go ahead and we're going to start browning on the sausage I'm slow sometimes but it works <laughs> yeah, I gotta keep on talking. I need you to talk for me, Gloria. Okay, so see some of the sausages are already browning from the bottom. Turn it around. We got it mixed here around. We don't have to go too crazy. The, 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 the vegetables are just the way we want them. We're going to put them back in maybe another 8 minutes, 10 minutes the most, and the sausage is brown. And we'll be ready to make our sausage pepper.
and onion sandwiches. Alright. Look at the beautiful color. Oh, oh man. My. This is gonna be that looks very a good. Delicious right? treat. But the, mm -hmm. the, the the sausages are nice and done, a nice color to them. And oh tonight my. we're having sandwiches. So um, let's, Woo! See, let's bring this over to the counter. My little brother is always excited over food, let me tell you. Never seen anybody eat like him before. Oh, and and wait. as you see, he's a skinny little. <laughs> so we're going to bring it over here to the counter. And because this is a family show and because this is, you know, I mean, right now today, this is nothing formal. I need this out. <laughs> hey, get, get her out of me, Tommy, brother. Because we need this, uh, because it's a family thing and it's nothing formal, it's just a, uh, we all um, <laughs> just us eating some nice sausage and pepper sandwiches. What we'll do is here, oh instead my. of putting it into a serving tray, we're going to go ahead and we're going to pull the sausages off, like, to one side here. Ooh. Just so that way it makes it easier and all the juice and we could bend and pick and see what we want and this is a little torture. more of this, a little less of that. But but look at the beautiful color on that and let's go ahead and mix those around a little bit and look at how it's not falling apart but yet it's just the perfect I mean mm. it's gonna be beautiful. So we're gonna use a little Cuban bread today. Yes. That my aunt picked up on the way out at the last minute because we thought of this meal at the last minute. Mm. And like I said, we just love a good sandwich. The oil's on the bread. So let's see. This is for my little brother who's, of course, filming us right now. So I better go there oh. and get him a nice sandwich going. Mm. But we're going to take... This is what it's all about, and, folks. And any type of bread you want. We like the crusty breads. We like, you know, crusty on the outside, soft on the inside. You just can't beat that for a sandwich. And then we're just, uh, mm -hmm. um, the most important part of, of this sandwich is this oil, the bottom, the juices from the sausage and everything. That's where all the flavor is. So let's go ahead and try to just get a little bit of the juices out of the pan. I don't know why I'm being so... So backwards. Backwards. <laughs> Thank you, TT. <laughs> See, even my own aunt calls me backwards. Is that nice? Well, we just want to put some of that oil. Even though we're going to get some with the peppers and onions and all that, we still want to make sure that bread's got some on there. So we're just mm. going to sprinkle some on. Then we're going to take a uh, link of sausage for my brother. And he likes them a little done like me. And we're just going to lay that link on there. No sense of doing anything else with it. And then we'll take that spoon again, and we will spoon on his peppers, onions, tomatoes. I got it. This is a good one, Titi. We're okay. <laughs> and let's see. I think he'll be happy with that to start. And I need a plate, Christian, if you wouldn't mind handing me one. I didn't have it set up. But he'll, uh, he'll let us know his opinion and all that. But I want to thank everyone for, for checking us out today. And then uh, make sure they see that beautiful meal there, brother. And thank everybody for checking us out. And you'll see us in the future. We're going to have some fun with this. Like I said, oh, we're going to bring you so around good. to some, some of my family and have them show you some of the cooking that we do in it. And we'll show you some different <laughs> things. And you can see my brother's obsession with food. He can't wait to get this done so he can eat it. But have a great day, and we'll see you guys probably tomorrow.